so let's have a bit of a look at some of the complex, I guess, algebra. Um, we've already been through addition and subtraction where we can only add and subtract um, complex terms with complex, sorry, imaginary terms with imaginary and real terms with the real. Uh, with division, remember we multiply by the complex conjugate uh, just to realize, rationalize, realize the denominator. Um, so obviously one over two minus root three i multiply top and bottom by two plus three i. Um, we end up with the real number on the bottom. So one thirteenth of two plus three i. And then it's just the same process. Okay, just be careful with everything else. Multiply by the conjugate. Just, you know, use your distributive law carefully. You'll always end up with a an extra real number up here. So just noting that sort of negative three by negative five is positive 15 i squared, which leads to a negative 15. Um, often we take a fraction out the front, but you don't have to, you can leave it as 13 on 29, etc. cetera. Um, I guess going forward, we'll start thinking about things like uh, de Moivre's theorem and making use and turning things into polar form to work out powers of uh, complex numbers raised to a power, but I think anything up to a two definitely we can just expand. So if we just expand and multiply terms through, uh, group them, um, I guess with this one here, that's not the same as i minus two and then multiplying by i plus two. Okay. You'll find that if you do that, you'll end up with a, a negative five instead of a five. All right, so just yeah, make sure you put their conjugate down properly. And if we do all that stuff, well, then we end up with our one fifth 22 minus 4i.